Happening today, the fate of two more books up for debate in Catawba County Schools. The Board of Education expected to hold a special meeting for the public beginning at 6 p.m. tonight. Destiny Richards is live this morning with Catawba County and Destiny. Previous meetings in the district involving potential book bans have lasted hours. That's right, two books were on the chopping block at the district's last meeting like this in November. And after much back and forth about whether to ban the books completely or just restrict them to access by parental consent only, the board ultimately voted on the latter. The board voted for Lolita as well as extremely loud and incredibly close to be restricted from students and only available with parental consent. In fact, a motion was made that any books on a restricted level required parental consent be placed in the media center office and kept out of general circulation. The board voted unanimously in favor of that motion. Leader Gator by Lauren Miracle and The Carnival at Bray by Jesse Ann Foley are the books being challenged at tonight's meeting. Past book ban meetings have always been packed with dozens of opinionated students and families. You're banning books from a public school library. You're only keeping books from people who have no other means to get them. Don't be telling me what morality to put on my children, though. Leave the books in the school system. You don't want your child reading them. Put a ban on your child. That seems like a pretty good solution to me. The meeting begins at 6 o'clock tonight with doors opening at 530 at the district's headquarters in Newton. And because so many people are expected to be there, the district has put out there that there are only six, 60 public seats available, as well as no standing allowed during the meeting itself. Live in Catawba County, I'm Destiny Richards, WCNC Charlotte.